I never really expected to find myself giving advice to people graduating from an establishment of higher education. I never graduated from any such establishment. I never even started at one. I escaped from school as soon as I could when the prospect of four more years of enforced learning before I could become the writer I wanted to be seemed stifling. I got out into the world, I wrote, and I became a better writer the more I wrote, and I wrote some more, and nobody ever seemed to mind that I was making it all up as I went along. They just read what I wrote, and they paid me for it, or they didn't. <laughs> and often they commissioned me to write something else for them, which has left me with a healthy respect and fondness for higher education that those of my friends and family who attended universities were cured of long ago. Looking back, I've had a remarkable ride. I'm not sure I can call it a career, because a career implies that I had some kind of career plan, and I never did. The nearest thing I had was a list I made when I was about 15 of everything I wanted to do. I wanted to write an adult novel, a children's book, a comic, a movie, record an audio book, write an episode of Doctor Who. I didn't have a career, I just did the next thing on the list. So I thought I'd tell you everything I wish I'd known starting out, and a few things that looking back on it, I suppose I did know, and that I'd also give you the best piece of advice I'd ever got, which I completely failed to follow. First of all, when you start out on a career in the arts, you have no idea what you're doing. This is great. People who know what they're doing know the rules, and they know what is possible and what is impossible. You do not, and you should not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them. And you can. If you don't know it's impossible, it's easier to do. And because nobody's done it before, they haven't made up rules to stop anyone doing that particular thing again. <laughs> Sometimes the way to do what you hope to do will be clear-cut. And sometimes it'll be almost impossible to decide whether or not you're doing the correct thing because you'll have to balance your goals and hopes with feeding yourself, paying debts, finding work, settling for what you can get. Something that worked for me was imagining that where I wanted to be, which was an author, primarily of fiction, making good books, making good comics, making good drama, and supporting myself through my words, Imagining that was a mountain, a distant mountain, my goal. And I knew that as long as I kept walking towards the mountain, I'd be all right. And when I truly was not sure what to do, I could stop and think about whether it was taking me towards or away from. I said no to editorial jobs on magazines, proper jobs that would have paid proper money, because I knew that, attractive though they were, for me, they would have been walking away from the mountain. And if those job offers had come earlier, I might have taken them, because they still would have been closer to the mountain. I learned to write by writing. I tended to do anything as long as it felt like an adventure, and to stop when it felt like work, which meant that life did not feel like work. Thirdly, when you start out, you have to deal with the problems of failure. You need to be thick-skinned to learn that not every project will survive. And you have to accept that you may put out hundreds of things for every bottle that winds up coming back. The problems of failure, the problems of discouragement, of hopelessness, of hunger. You want everything to happen and you want it now and things go wrong. If you didn't get the money, then you didn't have anything. And if I did work I was proud of and I didn't get the money, at least I'd have the work. Every now and then, I forget that rule. And whenever I do, the universe kicks me hard and reminds me. I don't know that it's an issue for anybody but me, but it's true that nothing I did where the only reason for doing it was the money was ever worth it, except as bitter experience. Usually I didn't wind up getting the money either. The things I did because I was excited and wanted to see them exist in reality have never let me down and I've never regretted the time I spent on any of them. The problems of failure are hard. The problems of success can be harder because nobody warns you about them. The first problem of any kind of even limited success is the unshakable conviction that you're getting away with something and that any moment now they will discover you. <laughs> the problems of success, they're real. And with luck, you'll experience them. 
the point where you stop saying yes to everything because now the bottles you threw in the ocean are all coming back and you have to learn to say no. I watched my peers and my friends and the ones who were older than me and I'd watch how miserable some of them were. I'd listen to them telling me they couldn't envisage a world where they did what they've always wanted to do anymore because now they had to earn a certain amount every month just to keep where they were. They couldn't go and do the things that mattered and that they'd really wanted to do and that seemed as big a tragedy as any problem of failure. The biggest problem of success is that the world conspires to stop you doing the thing that you do because you're successful. There was a day when I looked up and realized that I had become someone who professionally replied to email. I started answering fewer emails and was relieved to find I was writing much more. Remember, whatever discipline you're in, whether you're a musician or a photographer, a fine artist or a cartoonist, a writer, a dancer, a singer, a designer, whatever you do, you have one thing that's unique. You have the ability to make art, the ultimate lifesaver. It gets you through good times and it gets you through the other ones. And when things get tough, this is what you should do. Make good art. I'm serious. Husband runs off with a politician, make good art. <laughs> Leg crushed and then eaten by a mutated boa constrictor, make good art. IRS on your trail, make good art. Cat, cat exploded, make good art. Someone on the internet thinks what you're doing is stupid or evil or it's all been done before, make good art. Probably things will work out somehow, eventually time will take the sting away, and that doesn't even matter. Do what only you can do best. Make good art. Do the stuff that only you can do. The urge starting out is to copy, and that's not a bad thing. Most of us only find our own voices after we've sounded like a lot of other people. But the one thing that you have that nobody else has is you, your voice, your mind, your story, exposing too much of your heart and your mind and what exists on the inside, showing too much of yourself. That's the moment you may be starting to get it right. I worried about it. I worried about the next deadline, the next idea, the next story. There wasn't a moment for the next 14 or 15 years that I wasn't writing something in my head or wondering about it. And I didn't stop and look and look around and go, this is really fun. I wish I'd enjoyed it more. It's been an amazing ride, but there were parts of the ride I missed because I was too worried about things going wrong, about what came next to enjoy the bit that I was on. That was the hardest lesson for me, I think, to let go and enjoy the ride because the ride takes you to some remarkable and unexpected places. <laughs> to all today's graduates, I wish you luck. Luck is useful. Often you will discover that the harder you work and the more wisely that you work, the luckier you will get. But there is luck and it helps. YouTube and the web and whatever comes after YouTube and the web can give you more people watching than old television ever did. The old rules are crumbling, and nobody knows what the new rules are. So make up your own rules. So be wise, because the world needs more wisdom. And if you cannot be wise, pretend to be someone who is wise, and then just behave like they would. <laughs> and now go and make interesting mistakes, make amazing mistakes, make glorious and fantastic mistakes, break rules, Leave the world more interesting for your being here. Make good art.